<laughs> um, but can you can you tell us about like you know how you felt when you first saw it? You tried it on. Yeah. What it was like. The dress is insane. When I first put it on, I um, there's a scene from Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts where she looks, she puts this dress on and she like looks in the mirror and I think Richard Gere's looking really handsome somewhere and she just goes like swish swish. She makes this sound and I put it on and I felt like Julia Roberts, which is the best feeling ever. Um, <laughs> and um, and I, I I was so nervous about this bit of the movie because it's the bit where she's the princess. It's the, it's like the moment you know. And and I think how can anyone live up to that? really you know it's it's this fairy tale it's this sort of thing that's very far removed from me and then I put on that gown and I just felt transformed and it felt like a suit of armor um, but <laughs> it was really hard to wear and it was incredibly tight and incredibly um, it had a life of its own basically yeah. Um, was the dress heavy? yeah it was really heavy it was like crazy heavy and it pulled down on my waist and and it was also, it took about 20 minutes to get in and 20 minutes to get out. So it, was like, it was kind of cool because it was almost like a ritual every morning. I'd have my dresser, with, we'd start from the very bottom and slowly I'd sort of, it would, you know, take a bit of time and have some music on. But the only problem was if I needed the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it would like, you know, you're always so rushed when you're filming, so it would be like a 40 minute break. So my crew would be like, oh God, where's Lily? Like, <laughs> and so in the end, me and Helena had the same problem. So in the end, we had, we had these like portaloos <laughs> that we'd like put under our <laughs> Uh, no, I wanted to make them. I wanted to make them different. In the original animation, you only see them in two or three scenes, um, and also in the original animation, there's this kind of old-fashioned view, I think, of you know a woman needing a man to come and rescue her from a terrible life, and that's kind of outdated and not not a message I think we should be telling young girls and in this version it's, it's not that which is great you've got a, a young man with all of his own problems and a young woman with hers and actually they, they bring the best out of each other I think she rescues him as much as he rescues her and that's why I was kind of really interested in this this version we got to kind of see this real young man character and most importantly you know, Cinderella is this wonderful amazing woman and I wanted to make a man that was worthy of her affections. What was your favourite scene? The first scene that I shot with Lily, um, which is us on horseback when we first meet in the woods. Mm -hmm. I kind of I like being outside and being on a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more fun than being in the studio most of the time. But <laughs> it's just like you know, that was our first day on set. That was the first day of shooting. That was the first time working with Lily. So you kind of have all all of that going on on top of us kind of trying to play this scene. And I love what Ken wanted to do that. These, these two huge beasts that we're both trying to control and the metaphor for that and their feelings and, and this kind of dance they do on the horses. How hard was it to learn the dance routine? It was miserable. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not a naturally gifted dancer, uh, so I had to kind of train for like two two or three months, two, like three four times a week to get myself up to scratch so that, I mean it was two months of training before they let me near Lily's dress because <laughs> I would just destroy it. I went through like two practice dresses that looked like a bunch of cats have destroyed them. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that I think the prince would enjoy dancing. So I wanted to make it look as if he was enjoying it and also that I could just act with Lily and not be thinking about what I'm doing with her. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so, did you go after this role or did it continue? Yes, like a rabid dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get the Cinderella role. <laughs> so I had so many friends who was. <laughs> Uh, they asked me what I was doing in the summer, and I said, "Oh, I'm I'm um, in a live-action version of Cinderella." And there was a big kind of awkward pause, and they didn't quite know how to ask me. <laughs> you little old to be playing Cinderella. Yeah. Um, your laugh in the movie, I found that very iconic. Mm -hmm. um, where did you draw the inspiration for that laugh? I, don't know, I was mucking around with a uh, a friend of mine on set, and. Um, we were talking about we were talking about what makes people ugly, 
and um, and I said, it's interesting. You can um, you can go out with somebody and think, oh my gosh, you're so attractive, and then he or she eats, and you think, oh my gosh, you're a pig, <laughs> or or someone is amazing, and you think your politics are reprehensible or you know that something about them will give them away and I said and, and we we're talking about dirty laughs and and so I just did it and she laughed and then I there was a scene where um, we, were, we were at the gambling scene I think and I I laughed and Ken's face was so revolted he was really worried he said you're not going to do that are you and I said oh yes I am now that you've got <laughs> so I think his reaction made me want to keep it and it was a way it was a way where you know she's, she's got exquisite dresses perfect makeup and then she opens her mouth and that comes out and so I thought that that was a bit of a um, uh, uh, a red flag about what was to come 